what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Everyone gets their fair share of hate on YouTube and other social media platforms. Me and my platform are no exception. The problem is that I'm getting way too much of these racial slurs. Now, I think it's a result of the hate that hate produced. But a deeper problem is that anger is a composite emotion, which oftentimes consists of a mix of frustration and survival. So I understand where it's coming from. The problem is that it doesn't really fix anything. It's like a kid in a corner screaming and yelling. They're annoying, but they can't hurt anything. So this is what I'm dealing with. Now, it's like having people come onto the platform and voice their opinions. You know, it's a blessing, but the curse is when people get off topic. When they start saying things that have nothing to do with the video that I post, I mean, sometimes, man, I can post a video about the most abstract thing, it has nothing to do with race. And before anybody watches the video, they go right into the comment section and start talking about race and throwing around racial epithets. <laughs> I'm well aware that Getting on any social media site and people going off and saying all kind of crazy things come with the territory. I get it, especially for the type of videos that I post where I'm exposing corruption and I'm speaking on things that mainstream media typically won't speak on because it don't fit their narrative. So I get that. But YouTube has strict guidelines against harassment and hate, hate speech. And those guidelines not only apply to videos, but they also apply to comments. Now, YouTube hasn't come after my channel about my comments. They've hit me for a couple of videos, but they've really been leaving me alone. They really have left my subscribers alone or my commenters alone. So what I got to do is I got to take control of this situation before they start getting into my business. I got to be proactive about this because it's really creating a bad experience for the people who really want to come to the channel and learn something or just dialogue and get other people's opinion. Listen, we don't have to agree on everything. Just because somebody don't agree with you doesn't mean that that person should be attacked. As long as that person is being respectful, that shouldn't be any type of like crazy uh, statements aimed at somebody, especially racial epithets aimed at somebody. It's all about being respectful. If Somebody make a comment that you don't like. Okay, let's say you don't like the comment. I get it. You don't like the comment and it angers you. Okay, you decide, man, I'm finna go in on this fool and just call him out and da-da-da. Now, what does that do? That makes them go back at you. Now, you going back at them and y'all attacking each other personally. You're attacking each other's personal character and you don't even know each other. And that's all everybody here. The whole discussion gets lost. Man, I can put up a post about bicycles and somebody gonna say, man, them goddamn this and them this and that, that. They gonna get all off topic and they gonna blame somebody else for the bicycle not being as operable as it should or it don't look the right way. If the bicycle is black, oh, why it had to be black? 
If it's white, why did the bicycle have to be white? So to combat this overload of racial slurs and disrespect and derogatory comments on my platform, I've had to turn the filter on. People who try to go around that filter and use certain cold words, they'll eventually be blocked. I make these videos to expose corruption, to inform, and to create healthy dialogue. When people are so locked in on race that they can't make a point without using a racial slur, it undermines the credibility of the point that they're trying to make, even if the point they're trying to make is valid. No more talk. What the talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas. Order, Texas.